right guys the 19th league which is synthesis so synthesis added minor new content uh it had Zana's model was upgraded it added missing tarkley dialogue it added enchantments for all the new skills there was a lot of new skills introduced at this time um, skills which involve destroying corpses now cause the gibbs left by those corpses to disappear after a delay. They added energy shield leech as a mechanic. This function similarly to life leech except it leeches to your energy shield and is limited by your maximum energy shield leech rate. Several passive skill clusters have been added to support the new form of leech. For Xana mods, we have Fortune Favors the Brave, Alternative Same Tier, Shape Tier 1 through 5, Shape Tier 1 through 10, Elder Tier 1 through 15, Nemesis, Bloodlines, Ambush, Essence, Breach, Harbinger, and Beyond. The alternate of the same tier should come back if they're not going to give us more Orbs of Horizon. Synthesis. So in this league, the players will encounter Tavis and fragments of lost memories scattered across the world. Players can enter a memory that leads into a subzone where they must move fast to stabilize and capture the crumbling memory. These memories are then used in the memory nexus to create paths that lead to other pieces of memory. Memories can contain fractured items that contain a permanently fixed mod. Fractured items can also be used to synthesize a new base item with a special implicit mod. Each regular zone contains a memory subzone, which can be entered. Once entered, the memory subzone will start to decay. Standing too deep within the decay will cause you to be forcibly removed from the subzone. To capture a memory, the, the player must interact with all memory stabilizers within it. Captured memories are used in the memory nexus to create paths between other memories. The memory nexus can spawn memories containing rewards, memory amplifiers that add a zone modifier to every connected memory and boss encounters. So this mechanic was completely removed. If they were to bring this mechanic back, I think they would have to remove the decaying of the the tile pieces so synthesis was like playing settlers of Catan and poe at the same time you basically had to make this path to get to where you want to go but then that path would break along the way and that part i feel is not possible to bring into the core game without infusing it into every zone so instead, what they would have to do is make it where you got a tile and the tile was permanent. And it couldn't be reused. That's what they would have to do. And then that way you could put tile pieces everywhere, uh, which would be fine. Um, it still is a little immersion breaking from the AARPG game mechanic, um, but it would be kind of the only solution probably if they were to ever implement the actual mechanic from synthesis. So links, lots of links for synthesis. We have a link to the league, a link to the memory nexus, a link to fractured items, a link to synthesized items. I really wish there was more fractured and synthesized item rewards now, or if they somehow bake those into the core game. If, if they're not going to, if they're going to leave synthesis kind of removed and only give us fractured and synthesized items, why not give us fractured items that just drop? And, and you can make it off of like you could just put random synthesis mods mobs in zones and that would be fine and just give us fractured items and th synthesized items from them like that's fine. Um, kind of the way they did add it into the game is by giving us the synthesis unique maps. However, most of them are just kind of underwhelming. And, and it's it's kind of sad to see synthesis be regulated in that way. I would rather us interact with synthesis mobs, like just throw mobs in packs like it works. Just throw the mobs in the packs and let us get those fractured and synthesized items back, especially if you're going to keep harvest where it is now which is 
a fairly low power level compared to what it was originally. It gives us a good option for crafting and it makes it where players have something to chase for rare items, which they could get by just running maps and maybe you make it exclusive to maps. Like you can't get those mobs anywhere outside of maps, but farming synthesis, the best way to get fractured mods should not be heist, which is kind of where it's at now. It should be from killing like synthesized monsters and they already have the models. So why not just give us a big pack of them and let them drop the items? It's kind of my thought on that. Synthesis had a very mixed reception. Some players absolutely love the mechanic. Others found it far too complex and the lack of information at launch for such an overly complex mechanic caused some lower retention numbers than normal. Synthesis mechanic was never implemented. However, the in-game counters have been moved to unique maps. Fractured and synthesized modifiers are available through other league mechanics. Again, kind of what we were talking about, like this is probably one of the ones that they probably should just keep cut for bloat purposes. Or just drop mobs in maps and call it good. I would actually really like them to drop mobs in maps and just call it good for this one and maybe take out something like torment or something well we'll get into that we'll get into like which ones they could essentially cut as a, a complete mechanic because i think that the ideal number for for leagues in in poe is somewhere around 10 to 15. i don't i think anything more than that is too much and we're at a problem right now where we're at like 20 and it's just it's too convoluted there's just too much in the game for you to try to keep track with and it also makes it where because the way it's designed now they never rotate them and it feels like at this point that there should be a rotation Maybe a couple of them could always stay core like Anarchy, for instance, is probably the, one of the best design leagues they've ever made, because even in implementation, it's no different than it was in the league. And there's no negative repercussions to it being in a smaller dosage. So anything that follows those guidelines could stay core or, or not be core, and it's fine. However, I, I really wish we would get to a point of 10 to 15 modifiers and that's it. And, and maybe it comes from condensing down and giving similar rewards or reimagining the way a previous league worked with a new league to make it the, a, a better fusion of both. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and you have a great one, guys. I'll catch you on the next.